House Speaker Paul Ryan says the recent dust up between Atlanta based Delta and the NRA may have been overblown. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live at Home Depot headquarters where the Speaker visited employees today to talk tax reform and tariffs, too. Richard? Paul Ryan met with about 100 employees of the Home Depot here at the corporate headquarters in Cobb County. They wanted to know also about the steel and aluminum tariffs because they could impact the prices of the very things they sell. House Speaker Paul Ryan met with employees of the Home Depot Thursday afternoon to talk mostly about the GOP tax reform plan's impact on their paychecks. He came here after the Home Depot announced it was giving bonuses to employees after that plan passed. Afterwards, he answered questions from the news media, especially about President Trump's tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. Those tariffs could drive up the prices of the very products the Home Depot sells. Ryan said, quite frankly, he does not support the president's tariff plan. Instead, he said he'd rather go directly after specific unfair trade practices. Practices, especially coming out of China. We want to limit as much unintended consequences and collateral economic damage as possible, and we want to work with the administration to do that. Ryan said GOP leaders are planning to introduce a number of infrastructure bills within the next week or two that could affect Georgia interstates and runways in Hartsfield Jackson. We also asked him about the recent Delta NRA controversy and how Georgia lawmakers threatened to punish Delta by refusing to give them and other airlines a jet fuel tax break after the Atlanta based company ended its relationship with the NRA. He didn't want to comment directly on that controversy, but believes criticism against the NRA has been overblown. I do think in this entire debate on both sides of it, the focus on the NRA is overblown. Orion was joined by members of Georgia's congressional delegation. We're live in Cobb County, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.